apparently most people don't know this that many of us are dying in reverse quicksand and you are probably one of them what's up is gene this word to be great now you probably think to yourself gene what do you mean by reverse quicksand i want you to be a little bit patient with me while i explain this so the other day i went to the store and i have a friend i talk to every time i go in the store he works there and he always tell me that he wants to do something more with his life. He's trying to brainstorm ideas. And he's been saying this for several years. But the other day he said to me, he said, Gene, I took a step to try to figure out a way how I can start my own company. And I said, that's great. I said, but you have to keep moving so you don't get stuck in reverse quicksand. And he was like, Gene, what you mean by that? So let me explain what I explained to him. So a lot of us know this, that quicksand itself, you know that if you go somewhere and you, and you follow some quicksand, they always tell you in traditional quicksand, if you move, what's gonna happen? You're gonna see further and further down until somebody get a stick or something to pull you out. So it's always smart just to stay in one spot in traditional quicksand. But I want you to imagine for a second that we have reverse quicksand. And what I mean by that is this, that is quicksand that you in, and if you don't take a move, you start to sink further. And I want you to imagine your life as being in reverse quicksand, and the quicksand itself represents your age. So example, I said this to my friend, he's in his early 20s. I said, man, you're in reverse quicksand right now. So you're in one spot. You're in your 20s. So right now, that quicksand is at your ankles. And the longer you stay on this job, the longer you stay in one spot, you're gonna slowly keep moving down further and further that quicksand. So right now you're in your 20s, you're at your ankles. And if you don't move, you're gonna be in your 30s. You're gonna be at your knees. And if you don't move, you're gonna be in your 40s. You're gonna be in your torso. And if you keep on staying standing in that reverse quicksand, before you know it, you're gonna be so old that you won't have the energy to go after your dreams. You won't have the energy to go after your goals. And you will live your life knowing in the end that you died in reverse quicksand. And see, a lot of you all, y'all like my friend, you have a dream, you have a goal you want to do, but you allow yourself to stay in that reverse quicksand. You let the days go by, you let weeks go by, you let months go by, and years. And the longer you stay in one spot, you're gonna slowly watch your dream die because you're in that reverse quicksand. So what you have to do is start taking action on that dream that you have in your heart. So I told my friend, I said, man, it is great that you've already made a move. It is great you have already made a decision to start going after your dream. But you have to understand, you're racing against time. The more you stay in one spot, the slow, the lower, the deeper you're going to get in that reverse quicksand. So you have to keep making moves. You have to keep going forward. And you have to do the same thing with your dreams. You have to do the same thing with your goals. Do not allow yourself to die in reverse quicksand because you are worthy to be great. Let's keep it real. Many of y'all are gonna die in that reverse quicksand because you lack discipline. And if I'm talking to you, I wanna encourage you to get a copy of my book, Word to Be Great, How to Build Self-Discipline to Achieve Your Greatness, so you can start getting your discipline straight today.